Some select recently broke the fitness industry by showcasing an outstanding physique, humongous strength, many training and nutrition advice seemingly totally out of whack, completely in reverse to what professionals and so-called experts had shared and valued up until now for a few years, and all of that with simple, almost non-existent video editing, chill, even shy personality, and with a very straightforward attitude. In this video, I want to develop onto what Sam is doing to the industry, the good, the bad, the ugly, and give you my own thought about it. Sam is a young man and as such doesn't know everything, or at least not in a deep and organized way. His colossal physique has been built by years and years of sport prior to bodybuilding, and his practice isn't something everyone can just walk in to imitate. Indeed, Sam not only uses enormous percentages relative to his own weight and in absolute both, he also goes very high in intensity and deep into the fatigue of near or at failure training. This form of training is something only seasoned athletes can pull out, recover and benefit from which are totally different than many less experienced athletes can mix and also totally lack. As such, some content isn't big enough friendly, at least in terms of education. Yet, you bet that with a following so big, he's going to fill up some new gym memberships in a whole world and get some total newbies to physical activity, in general, under the weights. Thus, even without mentioning his set training program being extremely tailored and adapted to him, for him. Individualization is key, you actually really do not need to give yourself headaches over programming. Pick the basics, learn the proper form, add weight, rinse repeat until this stop working and then and only then can you stop asking yourself a bit more questions. As said earlier, I'm pretty sure some will skip that and go straight to a phase where you're focusing onto the chest ties in, the upper outside portion of the pack, then the inner lower part, etc. Sam can do it, he earned it. You and those young wolves probably didn't. Regarding the diet, we got a lot of to explain, but I'm going to focus on two most important aspects here. Junk food and if it fits your macro philosophy. You see, if it fits your macro philosophy is a nutrition fade who comes and go, where you can basically eat what you want and it's okay as long as it fits your macro. Very self-explanatory. The issue is that macro-wise, it does make sense. But what about micro-wise? Food isn't just bricks and fuel. It's minerals, vitamins, trace elements. What about those? Not only our overall environment today is pretty depleted in those, watching this video as an athlete, either amateur or pro, but certainly consistent and serious. Did you know that you could basically double or triple most macro daily suggested requirement compared to a sedentary person? Indeed, you sustain the same life stress, but you also got to withstand the one coming from your training. And trust me, we under-evaluate how bodybuilding is stressful. Some showing that he likes to eat pop tart, cereals, chocolate milk, etc. That is just a big mess because not only many young ones will think that they can and should do the same, but it's also a growing issue for him too. These foods are loaded with processed elements that we do know harmful for our health, but also quite depleted in many micros. And no, taking a multi isn't going to cut it. If so many people are telling you to focus on raw food, cooked properly, focusing on a few specific ones, it's not to bore you out to death. It's because that this is either that, or gut inflammation, dysbiosis, shit ton of serotonin and inflammation, sluggish liver, possible irritation and damaged bowels, bacterial overgrowth, and then it's only a matter of time before you see metabolic syndrome symptoms set in, or a few worse conditions, sooner or later. And trust me, I know. Plenty has been said by other content creators, but for the sake of this video, being as for robot, so as synthesized as possible, I'm just now going to address the elephant in the room. Sam is obviously using PEDs. This statement alone is enough in itself already to understand why it polarized so much in bodybuilding. Sure, it's a health, beauty, vitality and strength sport at the start, and more precisely, not even a real sport, but a beauty pagan contest form of activity. But it's been a while now that this aspect is overshadowed by sheer muscle development. Hypertrophy of muscle pushed to the max, as little adipose tissue as possible to showcase as much of that said muscle mass, an eye for overall muscle development, trying more or less to grow everything in a balanced manner, and using an anabolic cocktail isn't a cheat code, or something that only desperate participants are doing, but something that is pretty mandatory. And there you go, you got yourself more than bodybuilding. By simply describing it that way, you already see what the issue is or are. Even worse, it's not just those pro athletes that actually compete using steroids, but non-pro and recreational ones. You could walk up in any gym and have that dude, or actually a bunch, depending on the gym. It is literally part of a bodybuilding culture now, and accepted. Which brings us to Sam, who likes millions of others, is part of it, and clearly using them. In and out of itself, it's not a big deal, but the consequences can be dire for him and many others. The impressionable and uneducated viewer could either be fascinated or repulsed by it. Worse, 
This can alienate many by the sheer usage, whatever Sam is doing with. Some could think it's okay and just start using them, without proper education, physical training foundation, professional help, and way too young. This public image can become an argument to push away from the beautiful sport, but who can all help you in so many aspects with so many different things. Or, it can become a selling or marketing argument, as we need to remember 20 year old at the time of this video. Sam himself isn't advocating for anything, nor pushing it, nor making money of it. But he isn't saying to a very young audience either to not copy him. A simple look on social medias nowadays is enough to see that many young teenagers are influenced by him, and sometimes it's funny and wholesome. Sometimes it left you wonder. A good thing would be to take a stand, either against or with professional assisted use for it. Despite being quite low on the cause of health issues and even death, steroids are still a health hazard. If with an extremely unhealthy lifestyle, stressful workload on the body and the mind and can greatly accelerate many comorbidity factors. If a full generation of athletes drop dead from their 30s to their 50s, when the one before is still kicking in their 70s and 80s, we need to seriously evaluate and reevaluate what any person with a big reach following could or can say about the matter. It was hidden and occult before, now it's talked more freely, might as well take advantage of it, because we need to be better, for the sake of our brothers and children. I left out the best for the last, because despite all the previous issues mentioned before, I believe that Sam is an extremely positive thing happening for fitness and bodybuilding industries. You see, Sam is simple. Each of his videos begin with him talking to the camera, in his car or kitchen. Each time, he shares his thoughts about what he just studied at school, or thought about regarding bodybuilding, or training, or eating, or nutrition, or even just life. After that, we follow him through his training session. And as we go, he just keeps talking, sharing, giving tips and encouraging people to also do their thing. At the end, little pausing, admiring his work, checking out how his goals are progressing, and then, again, car talk or kitchen stuff. Some of you may be thinking, yeah, and so what? Just a normal dude talking. Exactly. Sam doesn't behave or act in front of a camera, it's just him. And us, as the camera, are literally like a person sitting next to him in his drive, or over the counter in the kitchen or standing by in the gym as he trains. The proximity, the openness, the humility, and the simpleness of Sam made him today what he is, a revolution and a return to basics in the fitness communities after years, if not decades, of ultra-sophisticated, script, planned and acted video. No, Sam just is himself and that is why viewer likes him. He is relatable. We forget, of course, the huge fucking strength and Jesus fucking Christ that squat was awesome. And we are all kinda doing the same. We drive or walk or take commute to the gym, we train, sometimes we've got a bird or buddies to talk to about our days and what we think about, and we go home, we eat, and we talk some more with people. Sam decided to share all of that, all those hours, quite many from one at that, with us. How many kiddos are having a bad day, and there is Sam saying, fuck this rain, but it's arm today, baby. How many guys just crash the PR, and there is Sam, and he goes, let's try to not break the machine this time. How many miserable people just going AFK in front of the Sam video and there he is, interrupting his set, turning the camera and there is the little doggo and he says Hello. You can say what you want about the weird things he choose to do in the kitchen or the gym. You can say what you want regarding the supplements, the junk food, the lack of wisdom and as I said earlier, he's just 21, what the fuck did you expect? Sam is the fastest growing fitness channel now because he did what we should all do with bodybuilding, keeping it real. Showing the successes, but also being okay with sharing when you are not satisfied, when you aren't winning, or tired, or feeling weak, not having a good day, having a terrible training session, a little muscle tweak, an injury, a little sidestep with your goal. All of that, in a sense, is part of bodybuilding and of life. We aren't machines, we aren't perfect. No one is going to mock you for missing a rep or not bulking or cutting as fast as you wanted it at first. And if they do, fuck them. All you need to do is show up. Do the work. Add a little rep, add a little weight, clean up the form, better use and understand your body, work a little more on that essay, study a bit more for that test in that class that is giving you a hard time, get that coffee, work a little longer on that big work project that is so rewarding but also so hard. And also, don't be scared to rest a bit more, to put the phone down when feeling overwhelmed by social media. Don't force yourself to eat something that is repulsive. Don't focus on the amount of effort you are putting in that big work thing, rather, be smarter not to burn yourself out. These things mirror perfectly, which means that being a good bodybuilder can make you a better person outside of a gym. A little more pragmatic, maybe a little more stoic, a little obsessed at the time, but also someone listening to that gut feeling. 
accepting the fact that there is two sides, a good and a bad, as we could describe them, showing all, not because we yearn for attention, but simply because the world would be a much better place if we wouldn't have dick measuring contests with the top 1% of complete stranger lives on social media and their 10 seconds recorded of so-called perfect life. How about you show us when you needed the spot after a failed lap? How about you share that insidious thought of not losing fat fast enough, but still trusting the process? How about you show us how fucked up and depressed you were and now you are just having a bad day but doing so much better? How about you get to be proud of your work and likes to show it to people who can appreciate it and even on a bad day can take a little stalemate and think of it as one step back, three step forward. How about we take a little of Sam in and get to be a little like him today? Because in one quite uncommon wholesome moment, internet's at it best. We all need a Sam. Thank you.